September 25th and 26th, Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh, big fat full moon, you guys. Feel the energy percolating. We have sun in Libra and right opposite is moon in Aries. Why are these two opposite? Because Libra is all about harmony at all costs. They want to please you. They want to dance with you. They want a partner. They're built to be on a bicycle built for two. That's their gift, is really knowing how to be the other person's best friend that can bring out your best and ask a million questions and really accommodate. What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Opposite, whenever the moon's opposite, it's a full moon, is Aries. Forget about asking all those questions. Just do whatever you want to do. Impulse, direct, strong, emotional, non-yielding. So this combination of opposition is someone who loves harmony and is strongly a leader because they're both cardinal. Aries will not take no for an answer and Libra goes, hold on, let's just listen to why they said no. So they keep the conversation going. Then there's a third planet, 90 degrees to both of them, Saturn in Capricorn, and it's exactly squaring. So somebody was born with this, they'd have a big T brought in their chart, standing for tension, creating a cardinal T-square. Why cardinal? Because in astrology, the signs Aries, Libra, Capricorn, and Cancer are all get up and go people. Like the thing about Libra, to make a relationship work, you have to be the one that says, are we okay? Is there anything we haven't talked about? That is a really hard thing to do, especially if you start stashing green stamps, I call them, where you keep things you haven't said to your partner for years in the drawer and they come to see me as a counselor. I love working with couples because you open that drawer and you go, oh my God, there's ghosts in here, dead, smelly, ew. Let's pull those things out, said the moon in Aries, and let's initiate the conversation to clear it up and then let's change our behavior, said the Capricorn. So we're not just going through the same broken record, but we insert a new behavior and that's called change. So there's a possibility here for Aries, Libra, Capricorn, or Cancers to take advantage of this full moon and say, is there anyone in your life that you have backed up stuff with that you haven't cleared? Because as soon as you do, and you do it sincerely, and you change the behavior, you won't believe the magic that happens. And I see this all the time with couples. And I love working with couples because when they work and they're interested in doing this kind of work, unearthing the unspoken, left behind stuff, it becomes so intimate. And so innocently lovable. Like when someone tells you deeply, I'm so scared, or I miss you, or I made a mistake. It's like, did you just say the hardest things to say? I made a mistake. I miss you. I need help. I'm sorry. Those words during this T-square, this full moon of Aries and Libra could change your whole life. Astrology Answers wanted me to tell you, relationship is the doorway during this full moon to be discussed that allows people to grow. The evolution on this planet happens in the cauldron of your relationships. Whether it's your family, whether it's your partner, whether it's your kids, if you can't say I'm sorry and revisit, those ghosts never leave and in your next life, ooh, you come back with the same people. Scary. Astral dancers wanted me to tell you, make sure you clean up your relationships. Whatever's left behind, this full moon's asking you to pray to be able to say, I want to change my behaviors to get along with you.